We uh, spent last weekend, we were in Orlando at the Send. How many of you were able to actually go? A number of you. And how, how many of you were able to watch online, at least for parts of it or all of it? And it was truly a remarkable event. We've, we've been to a number of events like that over the years. And I don't want to exaggerate, but something incredibly significant took place in Orlando. I have several friends that pastor the churches all over the country. And all of them reported that the next Sunday morning, something was different in church in that there was more breakthrough, more salvation than they've had prior to the send. And so we know that the send unlocks something, and we really feel that it's contributing to another great awakening in America. Can I get an amen or something? And if you're from another country, just take it for your own country as well. <clears throat> it's such a wonderful time. I also want to give a report. Last, uh, the prophetic conference a couple of weeks ago, a gentleman came up to me who actually was here two weeks prior at the Randy Clark Healing School. He came for Randy Clark, went home, and then came back for prophetic conference. And he gave a report that on Friday night at the Randy Clark Healing School, <clears throat> we had prayed for a lot of people with autism, Asperger, bipolar, dyspraxia, all, a lot of dyslexia, a lot of that kind of stuff. And lots of people stood up, and we've done it in here a number of times. And what we do is when, when you stand up in proxy for someone, when we're done praying, we ask you to text the person or the family that you stood in prayer for and ask them this simple question. We just prayed for you. Can you let us know if anything has happened in the next hour or whatnot? Well, this particular guy stood up for a friend of his on the East Coast, and because of the time zone change, that person and that family was asleep. And so he texted him saying, hey, let us know if anything happened in the next 24 hours, and so on and so forth. So he stood and told us last week or two weeks ago at the prophetic conference, he said, I stood for a 33-year-old man who is severely autistic. He can't, use, can't form words. He can make sounds with his mouth, mouth, but he has never spoken words in his life. He's 33 years old, severely autistic. So he stood for him that night, sent the family, said, let me know if anything happened in the next 24 hours. Well, Saturday morning, that 33-year-old man woke up, and the way he communicates is he writes. He writes it down, and that's how he communicates. He went into his mom's room on Saturday morning, wrote on a piece of paper, said, Mom, I can talk, and then went on to say, Mom, I love you with his own mouth. First time he's spoken in 33 years. Isn't that incredible? 30... 33 years have never spoken words in his life, and the first words out of his mouth were, Mom, I love you. Can you imagine the mother? I mean, that's just phenomenal. It's just so, again, if you have someone or yourself have any of these conditions, there's a the momentum of testimony that continues to increase.